Hello everyone, today let's look on the equality constraints in Revit. So if you have a situation for example like this, that you have a toilet and you need to place it in the middle of the room to be equally distanced from the sides, from both walls. And you can do this also for the door. Well, there are two ways how to do this. You can either do it by temporary dimensions, by calculating it. Or you can use the equality constraints in Revit, where we will be using the dimension, the classical dimension, and I will dimension the center of my toilet relative to the both sides or the finished faces of my walls. Now you can see that when I placed this dimension here, you can see the sign for the equality constraints. Now it is not checked. But if I will check now this equality constraint toggle, you can see that the dimension will change to the EQ sign that is telling me that now this is constrained to be equally distance from the sides of the walls. What this means is that when I have these equality constraints now in place and I move my wall, it will automatically recalculate the position of the toilet to be always equally distance from both of the sides. So you can see that this way I am parametrically changing the position of my toilet to be always centered in my room. Me personally, I am not using this to leave it as it is to be constrained, but I'm using it only to position my things inside of my project and then I will delete it. If you select the dimension and delete it, you will have the Autodesk warning telling you that if you delete it and just hit OK, it will delete the dimension, but the element will still remain constrained. And if you hit unconstrain, it will unconstrain the element. So first let's take a look on what happens if you leave it constrained. If I hit my OK button now, and you can see that I cannot see anything here in my project, but it is still constrained. So if I select my wall and move it, you see that it's still working and you can see it even here in the preview that it is still being constrained by the equality constraints. But if I want to remove these constraints now, it is sometimes hard to do it. And there is a thing or a button here for these situations, which is called real constraints. And me personally, I'm using this a lot for troubleshooting when something in Revit is acting in the way which is not supposed to. I will hit this reveal constraints button and it will reveal the constraints in all of the project. And now you can see my equality constraint here. I can select it and just delete it. This way I was able to unconstrain the element. And now if I go from this reveal constraint mode, if I move my wall, you can see that this relationship was broken. And I can still go and use the equality constraints again if I need to position my toilet to be in the center and then delete it and hit add constraint and it will not be retained. 